guys, uh, here's the video for uh, next week. Car diagnostic scanner is an uh, old system car diagnostic tablet, which is named K1. It's a 10.1 inch tablet with the back camera and the stand. And also here's some buttons for the uh, for the tablet, and we got the Type C. So uh, also inside here with the Android 7.0. Also, you have all this software installed. So I'm gonna show you one by one later about how this is gonna work. And we have one user menu which have around five languages, which is step by step about how to registry. Here we got the activation card for your product. We got the K1 VCI for Netspeak, and here's the charger. There are four options. And here's the Type-C USB cable. So I'm gonna show you on this Lexus 270 and step by step about how this works. So the first step to use this scanner is to plug this one into your OBD2 socket which is underneath the driving wheel. And you will see there are two lights gonna show red and the blue which means the Bluetooth is open. So after you plug your VCI to your vehicles, you can just go to your software, which is Nextpick, pre-installed, and you have the Bluetooth automatically connected. That's very convenient. You can switch your languages. You can check the system information. You can also view here. You can see this uh, upgrade function. And also inside the App Store, you can upgrade your car diagnostic software. Let's go to the car diagnostics, and you have all this software. There are total 85 software that are supported. So uh, go to the uh, and go to the Europe. You can just slide there, slide from left to right, and slide from Asia, and also from China. Also Australia and there's a function for the OBD2. So I'm running this diagnostic on the uh, Lexus. It's a Lexus uh, 270. So I'm gonna show you step by step about how we're gonna use this diagnostic too. So it's from Japan. You can use these selected vehicles to import information one by one, or or you can just uh, use the auto vehicle scan, auto scan vehicle wind code. So you already read the information, which is RX270, and all this information is correct. You have only input one option. So this is a 2014 Lexus. So all this information are filled. Just click on X. So it will connect the ECU. So here we already entered the diagnostic interface. We have a diagnostic. You can or you can do some customized settings, which is what we call the coding. So inside the diagnostic, you have power chain traces and body, and also there's a quick tech functions. We can see what we inside the power train. We got the engine cr crushes control or there's a ECT. So you can click on all these systems and it will tell you about all this information about how to do that. And we're going to show you all this system that are supported by the diagnostic tool. Here's the body. So inside here we have all this information like the mirror and the left and the right drive seats. So you can directly read the travel codes or you can do the activate text, which is very easy to diagnostics. It's a very fast one. And also you have all this system that are supported. There's also you can do a quick test. So it will scan the uh, system that are supported by the vehicles. So here we have scanned all the systems, which has total 26 ECUs that support it. So you can uh, click on each option to uh, enter 
easy to see what flow code you're gonna have. So you can do some active tests. You can active the mirror heater or the uh, foot light or the mirror fold. Or you can do this function. This is very easy. You can print this report or save this report. That's very easy to diagnostic. So inside here, we're gonna have some customized settings for Lexus. So all this is uh, coding functions that you can activate all these sensors and the uh, like the seat functions, smart key, assex. So this is the uh, features for this uh, next week K1.